Yeah. Awesome. So what we're going to do today is we're going to simply run a, a, a video ad. We're going to do two things. We're going to, we're going to run the video ad. And again, we can either set it to go live now, or we can set it to go live at a, at a future date, but we want to definitely set it up. I'll show you how to do that. And then and then number two is to, it, we're going to set up the, the custom audience. So everything you put out, every video for sure, every video you put out on your Facebook business page, in my opinion, should be an ad, should be a video that we can run an ad on. And the mm -hmm. moment you come and set up the ad, just like we're about to do right now, right after, go and set up your custom audience because it's all about the custom audience. It's all about retargeting those who are actually watching it. That's what it's all about. Um, and so so from here, we're going to simply start with the ad. We'll click the green button, create. And then this first, this is the very first ad, right? Very first ad. You ran the like ad, but um, but now we're gonna now we're gonna go straight into local targeting. And now from this point on, only focus on our local area. So to roll out, to roll out, we have the intro video. So this is pretty much the only time you'll probably maybe want to do this once or twice. So this video for sure, and then maybe another video, if anything, we're gonna start with awareness. So awareness is gonna kind of just get watch, click on awareness right there awareness that's going to be show your ads to people yeah awareness show your ads to people who are most likely to remember them so reach brand awareness video views this is simply a, a promo type of ad it's not meant to really convert it's not meant to capture a lead it's not meant to get people to to book an appointment it's simply to get people to 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 to, to remember that brand to remember that face and as we target locally this is how you roll out and, and this will allow us to capture a huge, big custom audience and retarget in the future. So um, so scroll down, scroll down, right, right above the blue, continue. Yeah, click on that. This is where you can name each level. So as we go in, there's three steps to the ad. The campaign, which is where we chose the objective, right? We chose, we, in this case, we went with, um, we went with, we're going with reach, brand awareness, video views. That's the campaign. So right there in the campaign title, go ahead and put that. Put um put what was it again? Scroll back up real quick. It was um awareness. Yeah, awareness. Yeah, awareness, right? Yeah. Put awareness and then in parentheses, put um intro video or yeah, whatever you're naming it. Yeah, intro. Perfect. Intro video. Cool. Okay, cool. And then and then we'll just continue because the ad set, these are the three levels. So the campaign is the objective. We, we're going with awareness. The ad set is where we choose the targeting and the budget. But but we can name those as we go in. So just click the blue button. We'll name the second, the ad set, and then the ad as we go in. So over here, you're always going to, this is still part one, the, the campaign level. You always want to hit categories and go with housing. So you're going to always make sure you go housing. This is why a lot of agents get their ads rejected because they don't, they don't choose this part. So that's it for there, housing, and then click next. So that's step one. That's, that's part one of running an ad, the campaign level. Now we're on the second level, the second step, which is the ad set level. So here at the very, very top, Whatever we do below, we'll just kind of describe it at the top. That's all it is. It's just describing it, giving a nice little brief title of what happened down here. And so what's about to happen down here is our budget. So daily budget, you want to go with anywhere from anywhere from $10 minimum, $10. And this is kind of, this will kind of be a one-time ad really. Actually, you know what to tell you the truth? Maybe run it. Let this thing run. Like you want this thing to run. We're going to, again, this is like door knocking, bro. Just imagine door knocking. If you, if you rolled out right now, dude, and went to go hit up a zip code and you literally hopped out of your car and started door knocking, how many doors are we going to hit? Like if we're, if we're going to go on a three hour run, like a three hour blitz, how many doors can we physically knock on? You know what I mean? Like this is kind of that, but on steroids in video form, this is going to be going out to thousands of people down the street. You know what I mean? So, so, so what I would probably do is I'd probably have it, let it, just let it drip maybe $5 a day and let it run for the next two to three weeks. Okay. Just capture a big pool of people who are actually watching 15 seconds of this 48 second video. And then you take that group and you show them ad number two and so on and so on and so on and so on. But, but ad number two, I would say maybe ad number three, ad number three and on, we're no longer going awareness ad number three and on. We're now going for leads. But okay. we're retargeting a, a large group of people, thousands of them possibly, depending on the budget. It's all about the budget. So I can get I can get hundreds of people to view this damn thing, or I can get thousands of people to view the damn thing all overnight based on the budget. Right. So so in this case, maybe run it for maybe, maybe run it for two weeks, maybe two weeks, go five bucks a day, go 10 bucks a day for, for two weeks, go 15 bucks a day for two weeks if you have it, whatever. 
anywhere from five and up. Okay. So, so you want to start there? Yeah, let's do that. Perfect. So let's start date, go, what's today's date? Always go the next day, especially when you're still, in, actually you got your early afternoon, your early afternoon, go, um, go the 27th, go 6 a.m. on the 27th. Give Facebook plenty of time to review that ad. Okay, so so 6 a.m., July 27th, 6 a.m., and then go ahead and check the box for um for end date and and choose, you know, just let it go for 14 days. Let it go, yeah, let it go for 14 days, maybe possibly even a little longer, but but mm -hmm. maybe start with there. You can always once the ad starts, like once the ad starts, changing the end date is pretty much the only thing you want to do to the ad. Like don't touch it anymore. Don't, yeah, don't, don't change the budget. Don't change the targeting. Don't change the objective. Don't change the image out or the video out because that video you think is not performing. So we're going to put a new video. Don't do anything to the ad. The only thing you can do is maybe, maybe extend the end date. So if, if that thing's running and you're like, damn, thousands of people are viewing it, maybe let's go to the 17th. Then you can come in here and change the date after the ad has already been on for several days, you can change the end date and extend it, but that's about the only thing, right? So that's the only thing. So now scroll down, scroll down. So that's perfect. So 27th to the 10th, but the 12 a.m., change that to six. You want it to go six to six. So 6 a.m., 6 a.m. Yeah, change out that. Perfect. And so now, now we'll scroll down, um, click on show more options. I don't think there's anything else there, but just click on show more options. Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. So now, now we'll scroll down and this is where, so in the future, ad number three and on, for example, in the future, this is where you would click inside that box, custom audiences, you would click and you would retarget the audience that you set up for the first video, the audience that you set up that landed on your website, but didn't opt in the audience that you set up to watch your second video. That's where you would start finding the audiences that you would have created. They'll all be right there in that box. You just click in that box. You, you know what I'm, you see what I'm seeing? Search existing audiences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right there. That's where all of your audiences would be. And, um, and again, after this, we're going to go, we're going to go set up an audience for this video, but they'll all be right there, a list of all of them. And you just boom, retarget, or you can exclude. So as you start to capture leads, those are those, that's an audience that you want to start excluding, right? Those who actually already downloaded your seller guide, you'll want to start excluding from seeing your ads and, and you'll just exclude an audience from there as well. So, so now scroll down locations, locations, change out the U S let's go all in on, on just your local area. And there's a, there's a couple ways you can do this. The, the local targeting you can, yeah, definitely hit that drop down. people living in, cause there's, there's four different options, right? So each one is very, very different. So whatever you feel, you know, would be the best. Um, I would think, I would think living, you know, right? Right. Yeah. People living in this location for sure. So I'd go with that one. And so here, sometimes people will put the city, right? They'll put, they'll put, they'll put Cleveland or whatever, Columbus. They'll, they'll put the city. Some people will actually put their physical address. Yeah. Right. And just build freaking a fit because 15 miles is the minimum. So Facebook is going to push you out 15 miles. So just imagine, dude, from where you freaking literally live, or maybe from your actual physical office address, you build out from there. Right, you put in the address right there, and then boom, fifteen miles around this freaking address is is where I'm is where I'm seen. You know, I should put my office address. Yeah, dude, put your office address, and and then just X out United States at the top. That's and then disgusting. and and as you're typing, always make sure you see the drop down. Okay. Columbus. Yeah. So so keep going until you actually. Pick. Perfect. Well, here's the deal, bro. Like it's all about consistency, dude. I'm like, like this clicking a few buttons, this part's easy. What's really the challenging part for most is staying consistent. It's like, dude, you, that's your stomping ground. It's like, it's time to freaking take over. Like it's time to take over. Like, right. and just the, the power of being able to leverage a video, bro, is like, un, uh, it's unlike any other marketing that you're going to be learning offline. Like it's, it just is, these brokers are still out of date with what they teach offline. It blows my mind. So, so we're just getting started. So, so perfect. So here's the deal up at the very, very top. Now we have a little bit of, of, of details to, to write a, a, a decent title at the top. So scroll back up real quick. So at the very, very top, give it a little name, give it a little name, very, very top scroll up. So right here, new awareness ad set, delete that. And maybe let's just put daily budget, five bucks or, or yeah, daily five, daily $5. 
and then and then dash um, um, maybe put maybe put the 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 location the address fifteen miles. And the reason for this little brief description at the title is just so when you're looking at everything on your dashboard, you can look and see the title and know exactly what ad that is or, or know exactly how much is being spent without having to click on all this shit to come in and see, you know what I mean? Yeah. Which I'll show you once we're, once we publish this. So cool. So there's the Facebook page. That's a, a, a pretty decent title. Um, that's all we really do here is set the budget, set the targeting, scroll down. And then, um, and so that's it right there, man. Morris Road, boom, that's your stopping ground. Continue to penetrate and stay consistent with these ads. And really, bro, all it's going to take is, is, is one every 15 days. So, so schedule that, schedule that. Right now, boom, one is being, being, being released, and, and this one's going to go off for the next 15 days. Have that second video done right away. And now, now it's kind of the second video should be now, now, now narrowing it in to our avatar, which is that seller. Or, or that buyer, which in this case, it's a, it's a seller. So the second video is on some type of seller tip. You know what I mean? Which we'll talk about, but, but, but yeah. So now, now scroll down. We're good there. We're good there. Um, and, and then now we're just going to, we're going to go placements and we're going to, we're going to go manual. So we're not going to leave it on automatic placement, leaving it on, leaving it on automatic placement allows Facebook to push the ad through each little freaking piece of Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, messenger, audience network, scroll down. If you went automatic placement, Facebook would just kind of put that ad everywhere, everywhere. Scroll down. You see all these check marks. Those are all, and you can hover over all of them. It shows you to the right what 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 piece of real estate that ad would show on. Um, but but when it comes to knowing the, the the audience and knowing the trend, we are all in the newsfeed. Like, yeah, you got all this other random stuff going on, but but the majority of the attention, prime real estate is in the newsfeed. So what we do is we go manual placement. So scroll back up. We went manual placement. And, we're, and then here, we're going to uncheck audience network. And we're going to uncheck. Um, um, actually, we'll leave Instagram. We'll leave Instagram. We'll leave Facebook. We're going to scroll down. And we're only going to leave. go back up to the top check mark right here. So we're only going to leave Facebook feed. Leave that. Instagram feed. Leave that. Marketplace. Leave that. Uncheck everything else. So it's only those three, okay? Facebook feed, Instagram feed, and Facebook marketplace. That's it. Your manual placement, unchecking all of these. So keep going. Stories. Um, you can maybe leave it on the stories. You can maybe leave since it's a shorter video. Leave it on. Leave it on Instagram stories. You can have it on Facebook stories if you want, but uncheck. Um, and and reels. It's up to you on the reels. Um, it, since it's a shorter video, put it on. Yeah, it might, you might as well just put it on, leave it on those, but uncheck, uncheck in stream, in stream, uncheck rules, overlay, unchecks, uncheck everything else. Yeah. And just leave, leave those. So that's, that's kind of for your shorter one, one up to, you know, one minute videos. That's kind of your blueprint since your, since Instagram's a big part of your business as well, leave those ones checked. Okay. So that's kind of, that's it. So scroll down. You're good there. Now we just go next. So we're good. We don't need anything else here. Next, that's step two. That's it. So five bucks daily targeting Morris Road, 15 miles. And then now we just come here. Um, and then the top, the title, just name it awareness intro video. Same thing as you did um, the, the campaign title. So same thing, awareness intro video. And then boom, you have your Facebook page, you have your Instagram page, and then you're going to click on, um, yeah, awareness and then intro video. Perfect. And then we'll just scroll down and we're already on the ad setup. There is um, create ads. So we should scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And then you click, you'll click on add media. Um, and then you can just upload it from your computer. So add video, and then you'll see the little plus sign over here, upload, and then just grab it from your computer. Okay, so we're good. So here we don't need a, a website URL because we're not we're not driving the click anywhere. Again, each ad is very specific, right? Here we're only going for the brand awareness. We're only getting we're only running to capture the audience to capture the audience. Um, that's the whole purpose of this, right? So there's really no call to action, hardcore call to action. So scroll down, no website URL, um, and it's also cool every now and then to add emojis. You can always add emojis in that text just to kind of spice it up. Um, but that you can always do that in future ads. But here we don't need any any website events, nothing like that. So now we're going to publish, 
And that is it, dude. So that's how you run a, a brand awareness ad. And that's what I recommend on anyone's first video. So if you're a local business owner and you're really trying to run, trying to trying to get into a space and trying to make your make, make your mark in, in a local area, you could be any business owner. This is kind of how you want to roll out. Introduce yourself, pull out your phone, say hello, right? Let your people know, hey, dude, here's here's who I am and here's who I'm fired up to serve. You know, I'm down the street. Shoot me a message, right? This is this is a good first ad to really just just say hello and then again leverage the data as we retarget in the future. So scroll down. We're good here. We're good here. Um, now we're gonna just simply. Did you already? Yeah, you already published. Everything's good. So now, X out. Hit the top. Hit the top. The left and the top. Uh, yeah, right there. The X and the top left. So now we just we just set up the ad. Now it's processing. And these are the three levels we just went through. So right here, you're on the you're on tab number three, which is the ads. You named it awareness intro video. Click on the on the middle tab, ad sets. These are the three levels to an ad. That's it. Super simple. So click on ad sets, the tab at the top, a little higher, ad sets. Yeah, right there. So this is the second level. In this level, we went through the targeting, we went through the budget. Um, that was the second level. So now as we read the brief title. We can we know that just based on the title, right? Daily budget five bucks, you know Morris Road, whatever, and then click on the first tab, the campaign tab. There, you you now see the title of that one, and and that was just simply um, um, what'd you name it? Click on the campaigns tab. That campaign, yeah, click on that. So so here, awareness intro video, perfect, boom, right? That's it. So now just um, hit the one selected in the blue X those out. One selected, one selected, one selected. Yeah, just hit the X. And so now right away, we want to go and create the custom audience. So we can either go to our bookmark folder or we can just click on the three lines to the top left. Yeah, you can always go to the bookmarks. And then um, we're going to go to custom audiences. So now, man, this is what I what I tell people all the time. 99% of social media marketing, online marketing, running ads, 99% of it is all about retargeting your audiences. So it's all about, man. That's why most don't succeed is because they'll put out a couple ads and that's it. And if that first ad doesn't convert, people are like, dude, I don't want to spend on that shit no more. It's like, dude, you never captured the data. You never captured the audience. You never retargeted them. People never saw you again. Right. right? So that's why the consistency is everything. People have to keep seeing you. Bottom line, you have to keep knocking those doors. You have to keep sending out those direct mail pieces. You have to keep going to those networking events. Like you have to keep doing that. But in this case, it's it's total leverage because I'm clicking a few buttons and letting the damn thing tell my message via video 24-7. Right. That's game changing. That's the game changer part. And I could target, right? And I can, right? That's the game changer part. So here, this is what it's all about. It's just building a huge list of all these different audiences. So here, we're going to click the blue button, click create audience, um, and then we're going to go custom audience. And then here, we're going to simply um, go And here. There's all these different data points where you can actually create a custom audience, right? Um, but in your case, with your business, it's mainly going to be around website, video, and lead form. That's pretty much it. Um, in this case, we're going to go video, but I'm just saying in the future, it's it's really building building audiences around who around those who engaged with any of those three, really. Um, you don't really want to do Instagram account even if you're building it, because as you build your Instagram account, you're going to have people that follow you from all over the place. And although you can, it might be cool. I mean, if you're, if you're building a nationwide brand and, and you're trying to do deals all over the place and you're networking with people all over the place, that's your IG, right? Cause you end up building an audience of people all over the place. Okay. If, that, if that's the strategy, then yeah, you can create an audience around your Instagram account and target people who literally landed there. So if you've ever gone to my Instagram account, you're in this audience and you're, and you're going to see my next ad, right? Like that's powerful. Facebook page, same thing. But again, on the Facebook page, we ran the like ad and those are likes from all over the damn place. So, so showing those people my next open house wouldn't be the most profitable ad. You know what I mean? So, so it's really video, dude. If I'm putting video out and I'm targeting a local area, I I would go all in with creating audiences around video, around video, and just retargeting those who are watching it. That'd be powerful until they opt in and become clients. You know what I mean? So hit next. Let's do video in this case. Video, we're going to do video. And then the next over here, we're going to hit the drop down, choose a content type. And these are all the different data points. So I keep saying 15 seconds, but you could really base it on 25%, 50%, 75%. Right. So you want at least a minute video, I'll at least shoot for one minute videos. Um, so you can really build a build a good audience. Like if I had a 60 second video, I would build an audience around those who watched 15 seconds of it. 
Okay. But in this case, you could do the same damn thing. I mean, 48 seconds, you could do the same damn thing. But 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 at the same time, 48 seconds, I may want to build the audience around those who watched it for 10 seconds. Okay. You know what I mean? And then as you go, as you go lower, like 25, 50, 95%, that audience you would think would be the most powerful audience. And 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 they would be. If if you put out a three-minute video and I sat there and watched 95% of your three freaking minute video, yeah, I'm hell of engaged. But at the same time, for me, that wouldn't be the biggest audience, right? That'd be the smallest audience because not everyone's watching 95% of anything, right? So, so in this case, I would go 10 seconds. I would go 15 seconds. And again, in the future, I would start planning on trying to do videos around the one minute mark um, with, with the call to action and everything. So right here, we'll, we'll go 10 seconds. Perfect. Click choose videos in the top right. Choose videos. And then you're going to just simply look for that video which is right there. Perfect. And then you're going to simply scroll down and then go um, next or confirm or whatever. Yeah. Confirm. Okay, cool. And then the retention change that. So we want to, we want to, Facebook gives you the ability to, to, to keep everyone in this damn audience that watched it that long ago, 365, but that's not really the best at all. You want to bring that down to like 30, bring that down to like 30. If you've, if you've seen my video in the past 30 days, you're in this audience, I'm going to show you another ad. Right. So, so I want, I want it to be fresh. Um, on people's mind when they continue to see us. So audience name, name it the same as you named the video. So intro video, intro video, and then in parentheses, you're always going to go in parentheses, the, the amount, the timestamp. So 10 seconds, 10 seconds. So intro video, 10 seconds. Perfect. And then create audience. And that's it, man. That's it. So that ad will go live. Um, in the next couple of days. And then the whole objective is to, is to, yeah, get that brand hit done get that brand out there for sure. And then, and then build this audience. And then as we roll out our second ad, we want to retarget that audience and, and show them, keep, keep showing people from that point on. Okay. Got it. Got it. You're just piggybacking off of the audience. Then. You're piggybacking off of the, off of the audience and the audience is local. Okay. Got that's it. what, that's, what's crazy about it, bro. So, so budget dude, when you close these deals, bro, like I, I cannot, I'm telling you, dude, you're a young dude. Like if you spent the next four years and went all in to learn social media marketing, paid traffic and real estate, you'd crush it, bro. Like you would absolutely crush. This is where we're at. This is marketing. This is where we're at. And not every, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you 99% of agents in the country. I talked to all of them. They're still offline yeah. trying to do that. It's like, dude, like catch up, like catch up, like, right. Like we're all on our phone. We're all in the newsfeed show up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, so as you close deals, bro, like I would highly, highly recommend it. Take a, take a good percentage, 20%, 25% of your next deal, put it aside for Facebook ads. Okay. 25% of that next deal. You make five grand, six grand, seven grand on the next deal. You make four grand on that next deal, put aside 25%. And that's my Facebook ad budget for the next 30 days. I'm going to pour it all in. And, and, and really, it really in this case, see, this video is perfect. But what if we went 25 bucks a day? Oh, yeah. Right? You'd be like, holy shit. And again, the only difference is, is the difference of, 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 of engagement and viewership. That's all. On five bucks a day, I might get 300 people to view it. On 15 bucks a day, I could have got 1,700 people to view it. Right. It's just, that's all that's the only difference. But in real estate, local targeting, if you were to simply go all in with 20 bucks a day, 20 anywhere from 20 to 25 bucks a day as we scale up, that's the number where we'll kind of we'll, we'll, where we'll be. You'd be dominating. Like you'd be dominating at targeting your local area. That whole town will know who you are on that kind of a budget. They're going to know who you are now as we roll out now. But, but as we scale, yeah, bro, put aside a little bit on your next deal and let's go all in. Perfect. Cool. All right, bro. I'll send you this video. Let this, let this thing run, let this thing run. And what we're strate strategically trying to plan out here is really just two videos a month. Vi really, let this run for 15 days. And then, and then in 15 days, let's chat. But on that next, on that 15th day, we get back on and we run that second ad. And this is, this is when we're now going to start going after the seller guide, start giving away the seller guide. Okay. Got so, it. So, so, so that's when we start retargeting this by that time, this audience would be, would be a good size where we can, again, start to retarget, um, ad number two and on. So work on that second video. And, and, and what I would do too, what's really good too, is, is, is once you get the PDF, actually go to a Staples or an office Depot or whatever you guys got out there and, and, and maybe print out a copy, a colored copy of maybe how long is the thing? How, how long are you planning on? Or you don't even know yet, huh? I think it's like what? 
I think 15 pages or something. Okay, like that. okay. Print out like the first five. Color, okay. make it just look freaking legit, and maybe use that as a prop as you're doing your videos. Mm -hmm. Right? I got I got two videos. I actually recorded what two video, three videos, I think, in total, believe it or not. Um, and one of them is uh do you need to pay taxes when you sell your property? Um, capital gains tax. Mm -hmm. Another one was uh, why stage you can help when selling your property. Mm -hmm. The other one was, but um, at, at the end of every single one of those, oh, and then I did the one of the house I sold too, of me going up, changing the sign, whatnot. Um, at the end of those, at the hook that I have for the two of those videos with the seller guide, I just say, hey, you know, click down below where you can download the free seller guide I prepared for you. Mm -hmm. uh, should there be a different hook for different ones? I know we talked about getting appointments or should we just be focusing on those seller guides right now? As far as like the overall campaign focus yeah. on the seller guide, is that the question? Yeah, yeah. Should we only focus like at the end of every video? Hey, like, you know, you said um, always at the end of every video, give that bait and say, hey, look, by the way, if you have any more questions, I prepared a seller guide just for you where you can download down below or whatnot. Should we focus on that or should I switch it up and say, hey, by the way, if you have more questions, check out my Calendly where you can book a session with me, whatnot. So I guess what I'm trying to say is our purpose of these next yes. couple of ads is to turn them into leads instead of appointments. Is that right? Yes, dude. Great question.